Hi, I'm Nidhi, a postgrad student of animal behavior at Manchester Metropolitan University. Welcome to a very rainy first day in Tanzania, where six professors and 40 students, including me, are walking through the Rao Forest Reserve. Rao is teeming with unique biodiversity, but we are also learning about traditional beliefs and local customs about these magnificent trees. This field course is a compulsory module for me and the one that I was looking forward to the most. For other students, this annual overseas field trip is optional, but the goal is for all to gain hands-on experience in the field. This opportunity was a crucial factor that made Manchester Med stand out over others. We are hosted by the College of African Wildlife Management, and we travel in these large four-wheel drive trucks, which is a real privilege, but also had some inconveniences. Our first campsite was at Kwaka Jinja, where we were taught how to set up the tents. Teamwork was key and we mastered it easily. Hello, it's 7.15 and I have just taken a very cold shower. After a hearty breakfast, we discussed potential projects and then we walked through the woodland and savanna around the campsite. One of our projects involved this fascinating dung beetle, while others were on impalas, ants and bats. Tarangiri was my favourite. As expected, we saw lots of elephants, but also countless birds, giraffes, baboons, impalas, and even a lion napping on a tree. We had many lectures and tutorials in the field with our university professors and hosts from the college. At Lake Manyara, we observed flamingos, and later we were lucky enough to find the endangered pancake tortoise at a top secret location. Our second day at Tarangere was as exciting as the first. We even saw a few cheetahs right at the start. All the MSc students are out doing their projects except me because I'm doing the project on the truck when we are out in the national parks. So I have some time to myself today. So I thought I'll show you this view. We've had some zebras over here. We've had some impala, some tic tic, and possibly even hyenas. Warthogs are really common. This trip was a chance to apply and practice many of the practical techniques that we had already learned in the classroom back in Manchester. My favorite was mist netting, but we also learned camera trapping, body condition scoring, small mammal trapping, butterfly netting, and species identification, to name a few. These sessions have boosted my confidence and deepened my understanding of field biology. It's not always work and studies here. We enjoy tasty meals and have time to relax. Mm, yum! <laughs> On our way to Serengeti, we stopped by the world famous Oldapai Gorge. The next morning, we woke up super early for a pre dawn game drive. We practiced various field observation techniques and also witnessed the incredible wildebeest migration. 1.5 billion wildebeest, accompanied by half a million zebras, impalas, and other herbivores, migrate annually in a loop. On this trip, we were lucky enough to witness the big five of Tanzania. Lions, leopards, buffaloes, elephants, and rhinos. Our last stop was the Ngoro Ngoro crater, which was teeming with wildlife. The highlight was seeing the black rhinos up close. On our way back to Mount Kilimanjaro, we were graciously welcomed into a Maasai village. <laughs> and given an insight into their way of life. It was a special moment for all of us to be able to interact with the locals before we returned home. We had a lot of support in preparing for this trip, but here's my advice. Bring an extension board and a scarf. I chose Manchester Med for opportunities like these, which helped expand my skill set as a field researcher. But I also got a lot of insight into the best practices in the world of conservation. I intend to help conserve animals in India once I finish my degree and my experiences here will definitely help me get there. If you're passionate about making a difference and love adventure, this course at Manchester Met is for you.